Hi and welcome to this very first episode of Knit Pose with the Moon. Um, so as we are starting a new year, I wanted to bring you a new way to find moments of pose, of inspiration and reflection through a very, very special experience that I have crafted for you. So at the beginning of each moon cycle, I will invite you into my space of pose. Uh, so here today I am in my creative studio um, where I actually spend most of my time these days. Um, and hopefully for the next episodes uh, in the spring and summer I'll be able to be outside in nature. But for now, since it's winter, it's super cold outside so I'm really enjoying uh, being in a more restful energy and to cocoon in my space uh, inside and um, and yeah so here I am I have my favorite blanket uh, which is a blanket that I've designed and knitted it's called Reconfort which in French means comfort so it's really the most comforting comforting thing ever and I also have like a cup of green tea and so this is like what it means to me to be and a restful pose uh, moment in spirit. So I hope that you are settled too, wherever you are uh, for this moment uh, with us. And, um, and if you're listening to this on the go, uh, it's okay too. I hope that you can still bring in some of the peace and comfort of this moment and infuse it into whatever you're doing right now. Um, because we always need a little extra piece in our day, even in small tiny bites. Um, so each time during our moments together uh, for this knit pose with the moon, um, we will do a guided meditation, uh, which will be inspired by the energy of the season and the energy of the moon cycle that we are starting together. Uh, so I have prepared one also for this intro episode that will be together a little bit later. Um, I hope that you'll enjoy it. Um, and yeah, and I will also share with you some uh, quick uh, actionable reflections for you to ponder on and so they can inspire you in your creative activities and, um, and help you grow throughout the moon cycle. Um, so if you don't know me, first let me quickly introduce myself. So my name is Solène. I am a knitting retreat host living in the southwest of France. I have very recently moved here uh, like a few months ago with my husband Tom because we bought a small, uh, beautiful chateau that we are renovating to turn into a retreat center and our very own sanctuary. Um, and so we're very, very excited about that and uh, excited to share more of it with you too. And uh, I've been hosting in-person retreats in Europe, um, mostly France, but also some other European countries for the past few years. And uh, so I've been gathering a community of passionate knitters from all over the world and helping them find more joy, more peace and more self-expression through uh, sharing a deeper experience around knitting and um, and this podcast is kind of a way for me to bring you some tiny bites of the same experience of a retreat but in a way that you can um, like have every every month every moon cycle and uh, that you can enjoy from wherever you are in the world um, yeah, so my core values are inclusion and abundance. So I am passionate about creating spaces where everyone feels welcome and celebrated. And in our community, like we really value a lot the creative introverts and the people that are non-conforming and um, that don't always fit in uh, everywhere. And so if that resonates with you, I'm really, really excited uh, that you're here with us today. And uh, to me, we uh, poses, our uh, poses, so just a bit about the name of my brand, Knit Pose, and of this podcast. Uh, so to me, poses are sacred and uh, they really should be at the center of everything we do. 
Um, and yeah, just like there are days and nights and um, spring and summer for nature to grow and bloom and also then winter where nature rests and hibernates, we need our poses as much as we need that more active and productive energy in our life. And for, unfortunately, in our society, um, like the, the active part of ourselves and the productive part of ourselves is way more valued and way more encouraged than the more restful one. And so really resting becomes an act of resistance. That's the way like, I see it. And, um, and so really, it's so, so important and so precious to take moments of pause. And so I invite you for today to uh, think and celebrate your moments of pause whenever you take one. Even if it's just like a few minutes to enjoy a green tea or to enjoy a few stitches uh, at any moment in the day. Uh, really, whenever you take a moment of pause, celebrate yourself uh, for doing it. Celebrate uh, that you are taking this moment for you and think about what it means, uh, whatever you're doing, if it's knitting, uh, what it means to you, what it brings you, um, how it makes you feel, and the, think about the good it does to your body, your mind, your soul. Uh, so that's my advice for today. And, uh, and also, I want to celebrate you for this moment that you are taking right now with us, because it's a moment of pause, uh, even if you're doing something else, uh, also, but you are committing to listening to this and to this moment, to spending this moment of pause together. So I want to celebrate you and thank you for being here because it is a precious moment of pause uh, that we are sharing. And even though we are on different moments uh, in time and on different places, in different places in the world, uh, I think that we are in a way coming together and sharing this moment. So thank you for being here. Um, and yeah, uh, um, what else did I want to tell you? So yeah, so a bit about uh, when we are right now. So as I am recording this episode, uh, it is the full moon. So I told you that this podcast will be each time released on the new moon. So this one is a bit extraordinary. It's a welcome episode, so I'm recording it on the full moon. Um, and it's the last full moon of the year, so it's December uh, 30th. Um, yeah, so, and this last full moon of the year is in Cancer, and it's been a very, very tough year for all of us on a collective level and individually. Also, I bet you had some tough times this year, uh, we all did, and so this full moon is really a moment of um, release and resting and grounding and it can also be for you a moment to feel the feels um, and let yourself feel because there's been so much happening this year and we've all had to be strong and to push through and uh, and at some point, we also need to let go and release and uh, and come back to a more quiet and calm state. Um, so yeah, so that can be it for you. And it's it can really be a beautiful moment of peace. Uh, there's really nothing to do but rest. And it's kind of the energy of the winter season too. Uh, as I was telling you earlier, it's a moment of resting and hibernating in nature and as a part of nature um, this can be a beautiful moment to go into hibernation uh, I've been talking about creative hibernation on Instagram and uh, and yeah and um, and yeah and the holidays are also sometimes a stressful time and uh, and so it can really be great to take a moment of pause after that and really think about just resting, releasing, feeling, and yeah, enjoying the moments. Um, so in your creative projects, also one thing I wanted to say, because sometimes we tend to want to do all the things and uh, and it, 
in our creative project, we want, to, especially when we start a new year and we have all these resolutions and we want to knit this and that and do this and that and then this and that. And, um, and it's great, it's amazing to like want to do many things, but also if you're feeling tired, if you need some rest, think about what projects can bring you that right now. So maybe you need to switch from this complicated cable pullover to a very simple stock in a stitch scarf or something super simple uh, because you need a more restful energy and that's what your projects, your creative projects can bring you. So for me personally, whenever I need more rest, uh, I always come back to my huge crochet blanket. So I'll have done many crochet blankets, a few crochet blankets, and it's the projects that I have when I need rest because I'm not very good at crochet. So I do some very, very simple things and I stick to that and it's my restful project. So here I have a crochet blanket that I am doing with uh, little bits of yarns from different projects, uh, old projects. And so I'm really enjoying it. It will eventually get finished one day, but I'll have to start another one after that because um, it's really the best project for me when I, when I need to rest. Uh, so think about what projects you have. Do you have a go-to project for resting? Um, and if not, maybe you should find one because that's always precious to have though for those days when you're super tired or uh, a bit depressed or whatever, uh, having a comfort project like that is really important, I think. And now, um, so as I said earlier, I have prepared a guided meditation for us to do together. Uh, so I invite you to get settled for this moment of meditation. If you need to pose uh, to find a more comfortable place to like, get set off for the meditation, you can do so now and uh, I'll see you uh, in a bit. Um, so the meditation will be about 5-10 minutes long max, so a short meditation for today and I hope that you will enjoy it. So when you're ready for our moment of meditation together, start by closing your eyes and take a moment to reconnect to yourself, to reconnect to the rhythm of your breath going in and out. To reconnect to the space that you're in, noticing maybe sounds or smells around you. To reconnect to the sensations in your body. You are here now and this is your moment of peace your moment of calm and your moment of pose. Leave behind you everything that happened today, everything that will happen after. Stay here now and this is really your moment for you. And if thoughts or feelings come along, you can let them come and then release them and let them pass and go. You are now entering a new space, the space of pose, which is a suspended moment of time just for you. Take some time to feel the ground beneath you. Feel its strength, feel its stability, and let your mind wander for a moment on this ground. From the surface that you are touching, spread your consciousness towards 
the whole room maybe, the whole floor of the room, and then the whole house or building that you're in. That same ground is supporting this building. And spread your attention wider and wider and let yourself wander on this ground. Wander through your whole neighborhood maybe, your whole city, and even further out if you want to. Everywhere the ground is here, solid, stable, everywhere it can support you. Think of yourself as a tree, spreading your roots further and further out. And the deeper, the further your roots go, the more grounded you are, the more strong and stable you get. The more you can grow energy to feed your growth and nurture your creative power of expansion. There's nothing to do here. But simply, you can enjoy this feeling of groundedness. You are leaving the world of fast to enter the one of slow. When you sit on this ground to knit, you can enjoy the slow repetitive action of the stitches being made on your needles, stitch by stitch. Each stitch following the others closely and all looking alike, yet always slightly different. Imagine those stitches, feel those stitches, let them pass one by one in your mind. Each stitch represents a little suspended moment, unique, just like this incredible small moment when you breathe and this beautiful moment that's right between the inhale and the exhale and that contains in itself an eternity. Each stitch contains eternity. Each stitch breathes life, breathes a power of creation and contains an infinite number of possibilities. A time outside of time that you create you with the simple action of your hands and the magical craft that is knitting. Take a moment to soak yourself up completely in this moment of pose and ask yourself what am I feeling right now? What makes me happy in this instant? What makes me sad, maybe? There are no wrong emotions and it's okay to let yourself feel whatever you need to feel right now. Take this moment to feel. Maybe you need to release, to surrender to this energy, to your emotions. Release the idea of having to always be strong, having to do all the things, having to always be there for others. You have nothing to do here except feeling, being with your emotions and being, just being fully holy and completely you.
take a few more deep breaths. And let your breath slowly bring you back to your body. Feel the release and the calm that's maybe a little more present than a few minutes ago. And if some of this, those emotions that surfaced are a lot right now, it's okay. You can just bring them with you or release them, whatever you need. It's okay to feel. Take the time that you need and whenever you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes again. So I want to thank you for sharing this moment of meditation with me. I really hope that you enjoyed it and this concludes our intro episode so don't hesitate to leave a comment uh, if you want to tell me your thoughts and or to share whatever came up for you uh, with the um, reflections and ideas that I shared or during the meditation and remember to celebrate every pose that you take and to be gentle with yourself these days and I'll see you back in a few weeks on our first new moon of the year.